Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, I will be talking about another challenge. It's a dependency injection. So let's get started. Dependency injection is a powerful tool for maintaining testable code consistently across the code base. With dependency injection, classes that have multiple dependencies can be unit tested by passing mock dependency classes when instantiating them. Manual dependency injection creating all interfaces, then hard coding all dependencies. Works fine when there are few such dependencies. However, as the number of components and the number of dependencies grow, maintaining and updating dependencies become more difficult. Spotting things such as circular dependencies also becomes tricky and using dependency injection frameworks being to make more sense. For example, Android has a mature dependency injection framework that analyzes dependencies compile time called Dagger 2. Google recently introduced the Hilt on Dagger, a dependency framework built on top of Dagger, and Coin is becoming more popular with Kotlin. On the other hand, on iOS, Uber open sourced a framework called Needle. Based on similar concepts, they use this tool to be explicit about all class dependencies, make unit testing easy for most of the code, and reuse components across teams. Needle is a dependency injection system for Swift. Unlike other dependency injection frameworks, Needle encourages hierarchical dependency injection structure and utilizes code generation to ensure compile time safety. This allows us to develop our apps and make code changes with confidence. If it compiles, it works. In this aspect, Needle is more similar to Dagger for GVM. Needle aims to achieve the following primary goal. Provide high reliability by ensuring dependency injection code in compile time save. Ensure code generation is highly performant even when used with multi-million line code bases and be compatible with all iOS application architectures. At the end, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I see you in the Anika challenge. Bye bye.